the one thing that scares me to death in my life is getting to heaven and not being what I'm supposed to be. You can't live a 10X life if you're not beating the sun up. So many of you complain about how much time you have. You don't have time, man, because you don't beat the sun up. Get started early. When you're willing to take control of your environment and put yourself through the stressors required for adaptation, you literally can become anything. Wanna be happy? Build a life, not just a business. Living I believe in life. Out here living I believe in life. Every day we living I believe in life. What's the luck we living I believe in life? Living life, yeah, so we grinding it out. Every single day we be grinding it out. That's the life we living I believe in life for. That believe in life for. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So today, let's live your best believe life and learn how to get the mindset of a champion. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one. Live to your fullest potential with David Goggins. Our purpose right now is to continue. I used to have a wash rag when I did this. And you know how you take a shower, you have a wash rag and a cloth and you, uh, you're sitting there and you're just lathering up and before you hang your rag up, you wanna get all the water to come on it and you know, get it all, all, that, all, you know, all the suds out of it. You wanna wring it out and you wanna hang it up. So my big thing is when I live my life, I want to make sure that when I'm dead and gone, that I wring that wash rag out, and that wash rag is my soul. And I also believe that we're going to end up one day meeting a maker, if you believe in one. And I believe that maker knows everything about you. Everything about you. Knows I was going to be here and talking to you. Knows everything. But you also have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. We have choices. And the one thing that scares me to death in my life is getting to heaven and not being what I'm supposed to be. And I believe that God has a chart and he looks at the chart and he puts it in front of you when you get to heaven. He says, hey, this is what you're supposed to be. And one of my biggest fears in life was to see that chart and not have every block checked off. Hmm. You know, I want to make sure that I'm constantly pursuing whatever it is I'm pursuing just to be the best. I const just constantly grinding myself into a fine powder. Rule number two, be tough as nails with Dan Pena. Mr. Carnegie was a hard bastard. Vanderbilt was a hard bastard. Henry Ford I was a hard bastard. Rockefeller was a hard bastard. Steve Jobs was a ruthless hard bastard. As Apple CEO Cook regularly begins sending emails at 4.30 in the morning on Sunday, he's a hard bastard. Why are all these guys that changed the world got one thing in common? They're tough as nails. Ruthless! Take no prisoners! And then we got you! A stiff drink and a good f***ing kill most people in this room. I'm ashamed to say. In fact, forget the stiff drink, just a good f My proceeds from PayPal acquisition were 80, 180 million, blah, 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 blah. Then I had to borrow money for rent. These guys, myself included, are all in. If they believe in what they're doing, they put all their money at risk, which I have several times, not in recent years. Uh, SpaceX worker reveals a brutal company motto, uh, motto helped him survive all-nighters working for Elon Musk. Notorious workaholic Elon Musk is so tied to his office that he's been known to sleep on the floor. I slept on the floor. Ford slept on the floor. Jobs slept on the floor. Gates slept on the floor. Success leaves clues, you weenies. I still work 50, 60 hours a week, and I haven't had to work in 35 years. Also, if you want to have more motivation, self-love, and confidence, check out my 254 series. They're free. The links to join are in the description below. You can outwork anybody, mm -hmm. no matter how badass they are. You want people with a like mind and it, that are better than you, smarter than you, more intelligent than you to get on your bus. You have to go build self-confidence. Rule number three, be determined to succeed with Warren Buffett. I would, I would like to tell you of two women uh, that each sold a business to Berkshire Hathaway, uh, to me actually, for many, many, many millions of dollars. 
Both of them started with $2,500. By a coincidence, it was the exact same amount. It was everything they had in the world. And one of them was a woman who landed in Seattle in 1917, couldn't speak a word of English, had a tag around her neck. The tag said, uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. The Red Cross got her to Fort Dodge where she was reunited with her husband who had come to the country a couple of years earlier. And she lived in Fort Dodge for two years. And as she put it, she felt like a dummy. She couldn't pick up the language. She couldn't learn a word. And so she decided, she and her husband decided to move to Omaha. So they came to Omaha in 1919. And there she found a small colony of Russian Jews. So she started feeling more at home. And then as her oldest daughter went to school, she would come home, this daughter, Frances, and she would teach her mother the words she learned in school that day. And this woman, Rose Brumpkin, spent 20 years saving money, bringing first her siblings over, her mother and father, $50 at a time. She sold used clothing to do it. She had four children during this period. And by 1937, after 20 years, she saved $2,500. She went to Chicago and she bought what she could of furniture. Her dream had always been to open a furniture store. And this woman without, who had never gone to school one day in her life with $2,500, but with the same spirit that the people in this room had about having a dream and working to accomplish that dream, she built a business which she <clears throat> sold to me in 1983 for $60 million approximately, and which, which did a billion and a half dollars worth of business last year. <clears throat> the fourth generation is working in that business. This woman, Rose Blumpkin, lived, well, she, she worked for me until she was 103. And then, she, I'm not, said, then she retired and she died the next year, which is a lesson to all of Berkshire's <laughs> managers that, Premature retirement, you know, nothing, you can't tell what's going to happen. But Mrs. B, with her $2,500, one further fact about her, she could not read or write. And she went into a furniture business, and she didn't bring anything in unique in furniture, but she brought a determination to succeed. She knew she could outwork anyone else. She knew that she cared about her customers. She worked at very low gross margins, but she built this incredible business. Rule number four, beat the sun up with Grant Cardone. Grant rant of the day. The one you need to live with, wake up to every day is that right there. Okay, beat the sun up, folks. You got to beat the sun up. If you can't beat up the roll up of the sun up, you're going to get beat up in life. Okay, I've been doing this for a long time now. I say beat that thing up, that monster out there that warms this planet, that nourishes and gives us light. You can't live a 10X life if you're not beating the sun up. So many of you complain about how much time you have. You don't have time, man, because you don't beat the sun up. Get started early. And when you get started early, that means you need to shut it down early. Okay, shut it down early so you get sleep. I was, I was, I was asleep last night at nine o'clock so I could beat the sun up tomorrow, this morning and see the world wake up with me and rule number five the last one before a very special bonus clip is outwork everyone with tom bilyeu kobe bryant one of the greatest athletes of our time would show up on game day and if he saw anybody else at the gym as early as him even though he was always the first on the court he would end up practicing longer than that person and i had the honor of interviewing one of those people one time and he said, I went up and asked Kobe, Kobe, we have a game in an hour. Like, what are you doing out here practicing so long? And Kobe said, I needed you to know that I was willing to outwork you. And in that game, they ended up winning. And that lesson stuck with that guy forever. 
When you're willing to put in the work, when you're willing to take control of your environment and put yourself through the stressors required for adaptation, you literally can become anything. And my life is proof of that. Now I have a special bonus clip from Gary Vaynerchuk on how to love what you do that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Let's go from just watching the video to taking action. Here we go. Question number one, where do you need to outwork everyone? Number two, how can you beat the sun up tomorrow morning? And number three, where do you need to be tough as nails? That's a real entrepreneur. She or he loves it so much, they couldn't be, I mean, my actions have spoken long before entrepreneurship was cool. I, could, I was not capable of being a student because of my deep passion for entrepreneurship. It was baseball cards. It was baseball cards that didn't allow me to be a good student. I was incapable of sitting in class and not dreaming about selling Bo Jackson cards. It took me over. But for some reason, when you're an athlete and you're missing a bunch of school for, because you're a great athlete, or when you're Beyonce being homeschooled, right? That makes sense but not for entrepreneurs, right? Doesn't seem like you're allowed to miss a ton of sc If you're an unbelievable actor, actress, singer, athlete, missing normal school is something that all of us in this room and listening right now understand. You're like, oh yeah, that's what happens. Like you're the best quarterback in the world. Like, yeah, you gotta throw with the quarterback. You miss first class, you know? But not for entrepreneurs, but that's who I was. If you wanna learn how to develop Spartan-like discipline, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Make a damn schedule and stick to it. Okay, so what's the rule with the schedule? It's not a bloody prison. That's the first thing that people do wrong.